Well, hey there, folks. Welcome back once again to the Hop House. It's Eddie here, and it's time for another beer video, uh, beer review video. Sorry, it's actually a beer wars video. Not done one of these for a bit. If you've just found us here on YouTube, welcome along to the Hop House. It's called that because we like hoppy beer, we like house music. If you like either of those or both, give us one of those. Give us a like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Okay, um, so we are now. Where are we? End of February. Right, coming up right to the end of February. And uh, a, a, a couple of weeks back now, Vocation Brewery launched a new beer onto their website, but they also whacked it into Aster. So I wanted to put it up against another beer from Morrison's. The reason being is when I had a look at this said beer on the website, it seemed to have, well, it seemed to be quite similar to a beer from Morrison's. So I thought I'd put it together in a Beer Wars video and see which one's best, or in fact, are they the same beer, but with two different names? Mm -mm. I wonder. Okay, so it is Vocation Brewery. I know I do a lot of Vocation on the channel, but they are sort of my favorite brewery. Um, so this is a newbie from Asda, and I've seen a few people in my beer groups, shout out to the Witchwood Goblins and the Brewskies, and I've also seen a couple of other beer reviewers review it. But I'll, I'll review it in my way. Yes, I have watched other reviews on this, so I'm not going blind, but I don't let it, I don't let anything influence me. You know, I'd, I'd be useless, uh, you know, influencers wouldn't be able to influence me. I'm just my own person doing my own thing. Always have been. Anyway, I'm waffling. This beer, Vocation Brewery, it's called Two Contropic. And it's a lovely colourful can, look at that. It's a hazy, double dry hopped IPA. And if the camera will pick it up, it's coming in at 6.7% ABV. It looks rather nice with a new sort of logo-y jobber thingy. And there's a toque in there. Yeah, looks good. Right, now, the reason I'm saying that is there's also this beer that was in Morrison's with the old Vocation logo and the Space Invader theme, which I have reviewed before. And it's the Wave After Wave. And that's also a 6.7% double dry hopped IPA. Now, the interesting thing is, is when you look at what has got and what it's got in it. So I'm not going to read anything more on the cans bar what I need to tell you. So tells me that this is hopped with HBC 586 Simcon Galaxy. So HBC um, is like a code, it's like an experimental hop. HBC 586 Simcoe and Galaxy. And this is, oh, HBC586 Simcoe and Galaxy. Interesting. They're both the same strength. They're both hopped with the same hops. Are they the same beer? Let's get them out in the middle. Right, newbie first, because we've already seen what the wave after wave is like. I've chilled these down uh, in my... Well, I put them in the fridge for a bit, but they have been in my shed, so they've been quite cool, to be honest. Right then, I'm putting them both in a um, Vocation Gold V glass, so they're both in the same glass. They're not going to fit the whole can in, the one glass, so we'll pour it to there. So there we have a sort of golden, orangey colour, foamy white head on it. And I think I've just seen a bit of sediment floating about in there. Or is there something in my glass? There's something in my glass. Stand by. Off you go. Get your own beer. Right. There you go. Nice little sort of floaty white heady jobber. The gold V. Yeah, it looks um, quite orangey. It's quite hazy and pale. Ha hazy and cloudy, sorry. No bits in there. I've done things to my beer. Get off. What is that? Got it. Right. Don't mind me picking crap out of my glass. Right, the wave after wave then. Like I said, it's the same strength and it's the same hops. What does it look like? Again, we'll try and fill it the same as I filled the other one. Well, this one's a bit lively. Who were missus? It's a lot livelier actually. Give it a, a donk. Oh, that works well. Right, this one, it looks hazier and dark, a little bit darker. I'd say it was a little bit darker. It's darker and murkier. Kind of 
definitely see the carbonation rising up. A bit of chilled haze on it as well, because like I say, it's quite cold. It's got a thicker head anyway, definitely thicker head. Right, let's hold them up side by side. Ooh. That one's, that one actually looks hazier. I can sort of see a little bit of shadow out of this one. That one I can't see anything. But the head's sort of dissipated on the Tucantropic. Whereas on that one, that one's orangier and that one's darker. That one's also bordering on an amber colour, orange to amber colour. Hold them up to the light. Yeah, that one looks thicker. Well, it looks, it's got more carbonation going on, but that one's hazier. They don't look like the same beer. So that could be a good thing. Right, should we go for some aromas? Right, the newbie then, the Toucan Tropic. Here we go. Let's stick that in there. We're going to give it a whiff, see what we can sniff. Tropical, pineapple, mango. A little bit of peaty earthiness in there, probably from the Simcoe. It doesn't smell like blue cheese though. Or does it? No, it's more fruity. Yeah, mango, passion fruit. A little bit of lime again. Stone fruit aromas, maybe a bit peachy. Smells nice. Smells very nice. That's definitely the hazier of the two though. But less see-through. But this seems somewhat, although it's less hazy, it seems sort of thicker. It's holding the head better. Right, give this a whiff. See what we can sniff. Definite more mango prominent. But it's also danker. I don't mean thank you in German. Quite dank resinous smell to it. Doesn't smell as as stone fruity as the other one. If there's anyone watching from Vocation Brewery, cheers for checking out my channel. And you're probably pissing yourself because you're either going, what's he doing? It's the same beer, idiot, or we're not going to brew the same beer and put it in two supermarkets. What are you talking about, idiot? Either way, I'm an idiot. Right. That smells fruity, yeah, but that smells more resinous and dank. It's interesting, I quite like doing these beer wars, you know. It's totally blown me out of the park though, I don't think they are the same beer. I did originally, I don't think they are. So let's put that to bed. That just seems, that sort of seems to behave better. Although it's not as hazy as the other one, it just seems like it's a better quality beer or a thicker beer. Now in terms of cost, um, this I can still get in my Morrisons. I think they are phasing it out. I know, I know it's the old vocation logo as well and all that palaver. Um, the last time I saw it in my Morrisons when I did my um, Scott and Wonder £10 challenge, they still had this, but it was in the manager's special section at the end of the aisle, not in the normal beer aisle, and it was £3.50 a can. The time I went before, which was a couple of months ago, they had it at half price at £1.75. So go and check out your Morrisons, because if that is at half price at £1.75, it's a bloody bargain and grab it. I mean, the... They are, yeah, 19th of July 2022, so it's still well within date. Um, date wise on this one, I think it's January next year. I don't know, it's sort of rubbed off a bit, but it's not really January this year, is it? So there's loads of time on that. Right, should we go for some flavours? This is the Toucan Tropic then, first of all. This is the newbie. Bottoms up and down the hatch. Oh, 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 my word. Oh, what a beer. Oh, that's, that is, that 
absolutely divine. Oh, what a, what a beer. Oh, wow. Like it. I like it. Right, a bit of laser vision. See how it jigs around in the glass. Look at that. You can see the quality of it jigging about. I'm going to go like this. Can you see the bubbles chasing the head around? Definitely getting more earthier notes out of that now. That, oh my god, that is amazing. Too contropic. Vocation out the park again. Love it. Right. Next one then. This is the original, the original. Wave after wave, bottoms up down the hatch. Oh, it's still a good one. It's still a good one. Oh, it's a good one. Oh man, do you know what? Oh, I, I think Vocation are absolutely fantastic, Rory, absolutely brilliant. They they just knock it out of the park for me every time. Um, I can't say as much as how much I do really appreciate Vocation Brewery and the work that they do. Yes, they're in supermarkets. I know there's gonna be people, you know, you, there's people out there that I don't want to use the word be a snob because that's not fair but you know there's people that um, are used to going to their craft beer bars they're used to paying five six seven pound for a can of beer at, straight out of the fridge and it's not been sat on a supermarket shelf and I get all that I get it I totally get it uh, I did order some beers from Leftfield Beer I'm going to do some more reviews on them um, coming soon but I'm going to do some of the beers that are not out of date because I know I've got some that have passed the best before I don't want to use the term again out of date because they still tasted brilliant, the ones that had so-called passed the best before. They were amazing. So I do see, uh, for example, the Siren beer that I, I just did two reviews about, the Squiggle. It was nice. But that sort of, to me, if I wanted to look at craft beer in a supermarket, that is sort of a, yeah, you can tell you bought that from a supermarket kind of thing. It wasn't terrible, it was nice, it was genuine, I'd buy it again. Um, but it was just, it was, it was, it was okay to good. It was, you know, it was what I'd expect from supermarket craft beer. Now these two are totally past that. They are just absolutely sensational. And I don't think they're the same beer, which is really good. That's definitely fruitier, that's more resinous, and I've already said that. Right. Laser vision on that one. Look at that. Oh, that jigs about. Look at that. Look at that. You see how it's, um, I don't think the camera will pick it up, but that's definitely, you can see a little bit of shadow from the other side of the glass, whereas that is murky as hell. But that seems to be thicker and holding its head better. And the same glasses, they've both been washed when I last washed them like last week and been in the cupboard so it's not like one's in a better condition than the other They're the same bloody glass right something about that one though the two can drop it I think it's the aftertaste Okay, so they both have some. Oh. Oh. I better run some, through some flavours. I'm 14 and a half minutes in. Okay, so this one is definitely fruitier. You're getting that mango, you're getting the passion fruit stone fruits and then the aftertaste is a little bit tangy uh, a little bit tart after fruit aftertaste but it's really quite zesty it's really yummy it's a fantastic beer i really love that this has a slightly 
slightly thicker and heavier mouthfeel, although that's juicier. That's juicier and fruitier. This, you get a bit of that mango, bit of passion fruit, but then at the back end it's really quite resinous, quite sort of um, piney resinous, I think we call it dank. That is dank and that's more fruity. Similar characteristics, but they're not the same beer, or they don't taste like it to me. So, I wanted to do this review because I thought it might be the same beer. Just location trying to pull the wool over our eyes, but I don't think we are. Right, get the rest of the cans out in the wall. Look and see if there's any sediment. I don't think I'll see it in that. Yeah, it's cloudy and murky as hell. But it still remains quite fruity. Sticking it up a bit now, I'm sticking it up to the level that wave after wave was in terms of the mouthfeel of the body. Right, this bad boy, right, it's hazed right up now, it's a lot hazier. Oh, I can see floaters, I think, as well. Can I? No, no, can't, it's just my eyes. Again, though, look at how the head holds compared to the other one. This, the head on this is a lot more, there's a lot more carbonation going on in this. Oh, it's hard to call. Okay, so, so straight off the bat, I personally don't think they're the same beer. Although they're, they're the same ABV and they're the same hops. Maybe one's more dry hop than the other, or they added a different, they had one hop before the other one and then one hop after the other one. I don't know, like I said, I'm not a brewer, I don't work in the industry, I'm no expert. But I know that I love both of these beers. Right, rating wise, too contropic. Go to Asda and get some for three quid. That is getting two thumbs up and two feet. I'm not going to put them up in the air because it's too close to the thing. I don't want to knock any beer over. But two thumbs up and two feet if I can get them in the camera. So that's four limbs out of four. That is, ooh, the wave after wave. Can't remember what I gave it before. I've not watched it back. Sometimes I watch my reviews back because I'm a bit sad like that. I'll give that two thumbs up. What is it worth four out of four? I think I like the Tropical Toucan better, but I still think that gets. I'll give it three limbs. It's two thumbs up and a foot for the wave after wave. There's more carbonation in that one. It's 50p more, it's considering that's £3.50 and that's three quid. That's three quid. Take your pick which one you want. They're both really good. If you can get that in Asda, get it. If you can't, you can get that in Morrison's, get it. These are beers that are a lot better than this average £3 supermarket cans. I think that that's, they are bordering on your craft beer bottle shoppy jobbers <clears throat> oh, in terms of the quality they're a bit carbonated that well but way off the way is more carbonated thank you very much for watching the two contropic wins just well they've got an extra limb but there's something about it that i like better although i like the finish on the wave off the way but i like that, that sort of earthy resinous finish if that makes any sense <clears throat> Christ knows. Thank you very much for watching. Like, share, subscribe. We'll see you again another time for some more beer reviews right here on the Hop House. Ciao for now, people.